listen, yeah. We're not talking about me. I'm not a skilled engineer. <laughs> I'm not an engineer or nothing. No. This, no, 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 no. Let me defend myself before you assassinate my character. Look. Hi, guys, and welcome to Bomb Anime. It's your girl, Bruca. And Big Boy Summer here. Tanjiro steps between the Hashira and Kotetsu. And then we have the Hashira training with the doll, and then Tanjiro ends up training as well. Tokito, is, he seems to be a child prodigy. He's, he's actually doing the most. And he also seems to be void of normal emotions, I guess. He's just matter of fact. He's a very interesting character so far because he's a man of few words, but we see his presence a lot. And I'm wondering how that kind of person has love or has the desire to go out and kill demons. Tokuto and his crow are a piece of shit. <laughs> There's no other way that I can get around it. He has met Tanjiro before and he still acted like, who the hell are you? Basically, he acts as if nobody matters, nobody and nothing matters apart from the Hashira and everyone else is beneath him. He didn't even make the connection that in order for him to do his job, he needed the swordsmith. He can't make swords. You're at this village for a reason. In fact, the fact that you even want this mechanical doll was made by swordsmiths and you still can't see the value in them, yet you needed it to train and you need them to make your swords. It's not even a black and white way of thinking. He kind of seems like he has no empathy and on top of that, he doesn't even consider others to be on his level. I feel like he looks at other people the way he would look at an ant. It's just there and it's either in my way or it serves a purpose and that's really it. Yeah, don't have anything good to say about this guy except for the fact that he is a good character and that things can be done with a character such as him. He is actually exceptional when it came to fighting because remember, he had the doll fully intact when he was fighting it and he was finished with his training and robbed one of the swords saying that his sword broke so he's just taking this one which made the doll less powerful when Tanjiro was training with it. Six and five are only like, you know, one number difference. But if you're talking about motion and effectiveness, it comes at a factor that's exponential. Six is greater than five by magnitude. It's like severely handicapping the doll when Tanjira gets it. And so like, I don't think it was really appreciated in this episode how powerful Tokito actually was pure genius for him to be able to deal with a doll that is that advanced in technology. This mechanical doll is the person that Tanjiro saw in his dream and of course that brings things nicely wrapped up from episode one when we were saying like how is this guy here when Tanjiro dreamed about him and he alluded to the fact that he was dead. So he is dead and he's also an ancestor of Tanjiro as well. I don't think Tanjiro fully appreciated the fact that he was getting a chance to spar with an ancestor that was over 300 years old and the significance of actually meeting the mechanical doll considering that he literally just had the dream about him. Clearly whatever his memories are of this particular swordsman and actually meeting this mechanical doll is something to do with his story and I feel like Tanjiro should really have had more reverence towards it considering that he was saying that he didn't know anything about his sword style and his dad's sword style and nobody else knew and he was trying to get to the bottom of it this is part of what he needs to do not just go on these missions and help Nezuko become a human again I agree with you but there's not a lot for me to say in this matter because he, he was living his best life before he came into this situation. So like maybe he's not, you know, versed in critical thinking in that sense. So I, I get his what you say. best saying. life. He was in a two month coma. No, I'm talking about before he became a demon slayer as a whole. Uh -huh. Like not, not, yeah, okay. not, not in a coma. Like, you know, that was, well, maybe. I want to talk more about the doll. You mean to tell me it's been 300 years the outside world has trains, guns, and provisions and whatnot. And you guys can't recreate technology that's 300 years old. What the F are you not doing with your lives? Like, literally, this doll 
has shown how very vital it is to actually training up Demon Slayer core members, Hashira members, and so on and so forth. And no one can recreate it. Make a pyramid. Listen, yeah. We're not talking about me. I'm not a skilled engineer. <laughs> I'm not an engineer or nothing. No. This, no, 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 no. Let me defend myself before you assassinate my character. I'm not a skilled engineer or anything. You guys are Smiths, Swordsmiths, and you lot also make dolls. It was alluded to that other dolls do exist, but nothing is as good as this one. So those guys who can make dolls, Wagwan fam, because I know that anyone who ends up in the industry that they're in, actually adds a little bit to the industry and still learns how to do stuff so i don't understand what's going on that's all i'm saying i don't fully agree with you of course you he don't said, he told me make a pyramid he said that his family made this mechanical doll and it was extremely special you have an industry say let's say laptops and everyone's making their own laptops apple are making their own laptops over here Lenovo are making their laptops over here. Do they go and compare notes? Does does Apple say, oh, hey, Lenovo, um, I noticed you haven't been doing uh, this super special thing that we've been doing. Why don't we just share our technology with you? That just doesn't happen. So what happens if someone runs through and kills that whole family? Like Tanjiro's family were killed. It will disappear. And it's 300 years ago as well. It wasn't as easy to record everything and pass things down. If everyone went and got killed, that's that. It dies with them. Uh, uh, I don't know. I just feel, I don't know. Like, reverse engineering exists. I don't know. That but... is true. Reverse engineering does exist. Make a pyramid. Listen, I'm not an engineer. <laughs> <laughs> can, we, can, we, can we get that straight? <laughs> Mm -hmm. that those who have the skills and the know-how yeah. should also have the know-how to reverse engineer that's all i'm saying okay then whatever hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell for notifications and if you want even more content hit us up on bum anime insta it's the place to be so katetsu is a 10 year old with the will of fire you know he's 10 so he gets hurt when Certain things don't go his way, but lucky he for him, he's got big brother Tanjiro here, making sure that he stays on the path. And because of that, Tanjiro understood what the will of fire was in terms of getting starved and, you know, beaten constantly by the will of fire. It's his own fault. Tanjiro, well done. Kotetsu is also the last of his family line and he said he's no good at swords or mechanical dolls but I mean he is 10 years old what could he really be expected to do so he's trying his best to protect the mechanical doll so that it doesn't get destroyed because he doesn't know how to remake it and like you said he is a child so him being able to make it is it's, it's not in his remit at the moment but Tanjiro gave him a quick little pep talk and told him, look, even if you can't do it, maybe your children or your children's children might be able to do it. You need to fight for what you're trying to protect. This mechanical doll is capable of 108 moves and the man that looked like the man in Tanjiro's dream, it's clearly a replica of him as well. So his family must have met this guy in order to be able to make it. So I think it must have been a collaboration between the swordsman and Kotetsu's family from that period in time. I think that it's basically the same way that every single Demon Slayer core member has their own private swordsman. That guy's private swordsman was with Kotetsu's private swordsman's family. You've got a 10 year old, his father's just passed away. They've got this 300 year old mecha doll thing. They're swordsmiths. I'm guessing his dad was a good swordsmith as well. And he's just learning the ropes and unfortunately he's just been hit with tragedy. I kind of see good things coming in Kotetsu's future. I feel like he's going to be one of the best swordsmen and he might take over, I'm going to attempt this name, Hagen Zutsuka's, <laughs> yeah, that's Tanjiro Swordsmith's role eventually in the future because let's be honest, I'm still going to say it, Tanjiro Swordsmith is trash because every single time he gets him a sword it breaks and his job is to make sure that that doesn't happen. I disagree. I don't think that he is going to go into swords. I think he's going to go into mechanical dolls because he told Tanjiro, break the thing. I will remake it at all costs. Also bringing it back to what you said about the family not having the knowledge. I think that this could have also been easily destroyed in like a fire situation. Yeah. And because of the unwillingness to break into such a 
great piece of art they are not going to be able to reverse engineer it because they can't see how it was made they need to take it apart and no one was willing to do that we also saw in tanjiro his reluctance to actually break the doll i think that that would have happened many a time with other swordsmen they would have been reluctant to break such a piece of art so now i think that this is going to be the stepping stone that kotetsu needs to actually remake such a thing yeah i agree tanjiro fights this doll he goes through a bunch of things because like you said he was being starved he wasn't even getting water but he carried on just going with it and he said that he felt like he was crossing over he fell into the water and saw this stone that had a scent after that he came back being able to scent where the doll was going to hit him and it increased his training a lot because he was relying mostly on the what is that thing he said the string of opening yeah the string of opening where he can basically see like an opening and it's almost like his sword is attached to a string that goes directly to the opening he was trying to rely on that and it just wasn't working with this particular thing so now he is able to scent movements i'm wondering is this going to be something he's going to be able to use in other things or was the scent of that stone the scent of this mechanical doll movement specifically and he can only use it here i don't believe it's going to be a unique scent to this doll i think it's going to be a scent that's going to use with all these other demons moving forward because the string of opening isn't a unique one and it seemed like he got it in a similar fashion this training was tough and it seemed like he needed to be on the brink of death in order to stop being reactive and actually be proactive with the fight Kitetsu was telling him from day one stop reacting to the fight I need you to analyze your opponent and utilize that information and the moment that it actually clicked and the representation of him crossing over the bridge I thought was funny and brilliant I, I like it when Demon Slayer does this was perfect and it is obviously no small wonder that he fell into water him having the water breathing so it does make sense and so i i like the way that they you know tied it up with his unique skill which is his sense of smell and his breathing which is water type so it was quite nice to marry the two there i like the idea of him learning new skills always moving forward always changing and becoming a Hashira because I, I feel like this is where this is headed or or becoming a Hashira is one of the stops in the road for him to take out Muzan I want him to carry on in this vein and keep training because like can we can we all just remember in this episode he's still not 100% then he was being starved and like deprived of drink and then at the moment when he think he couldn't go any forward is when he was granted with the reward of this new skill he was already starting on the back foot. It's like that fight he had with Gyotaru. He was starting on the back foot. Imagine he was fully okay. He would have probably done him straight away, but hey ho. His sense of smell is also not fully uh, yeah. there either. Yeah, that was also mentioned. So it's like, it's it's nice that he gets rewarded eventually because I feel like this anime doesn't really like Tanjiro at all because some of the things that has happened to him, I mean, from episode one, they set the tone. <laughs> So Tanjiro ended up finding the sword that will make him stronger. I'm actually wondering if this is a misinterpretation that the sword will actually make him stronger. Is it that it will make him stronger or is it that he will be stronger because he beat the mechanical doll and reached the sword? <laughs> I was having this discussion to, uh, with some of my One Piece fan followers here. We all know that, you know, One Piece is going to end soon. And I was saying, what if the One Piece isn't something physical but it's the journey to get to the one piece sort of situation and one guy in particular was absolutely livid i said this and wanted to fight you know war of words not physical i don't know yet and i hope not because i feel like that will be a slap in the face of the situation the sword has been there for 300 years remember this sword had lasted for 300 years this got to be a powerful sword I feel like this episode was a nice segue away from the heavier setup that we had in episode one. This episode is going to bring us more things in terms of the, you know, sword village that we actually need to know about in this arc. So I give this episode a solid eight. 
I also give this episode an eight. I enjoyed the training. I always like to see my characters training and learning new skills, but I do kind of wish that Tanjiro was trying to use more thoroughly the flame dance or the fire dance that he learned from his father. It's clearly instrumental. It's helped him survive but yet he's not putting any effort into it. I feel like that would have also helped him fight against his ancestor. We're not just hearing about swords. I did not expect a mechanical doll to come into this at all. If they could make one of Muzan. If you've made it this far, you're a real one. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share to get more of our episodes. See you on the next one. Peace.